Welcome back to another live and amplified live cast. I'm your host, Tom Quiet, and we are back at CMA Fest day two. We have Jordana Bryant. How's it going? Oh, it's great. I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. It was a uh, this was all very quickly set up, so it's just kind of like I don't know what I'm doing here right now. It's a uh, you know it, it kind of all came together in a matter of a few weeks. So. Yeah, yeah. You just got to run with it. Yeah, absolutely. It is like I originally wasn't coming here for CMA Fest, oh, wow. and so no it was way. like, hey, you doing CMA Fest? I was like, hey, um, I probably should, shouldn't I? <laughs> so yeah, and then. So oh, well, I love that you're here. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to be here and glad to have you here. Uh, we had you on the podcast, I want to say it was about a year, year I and a half ago. Right. So i um, excited to finally meet you in person and uh, sit down and have a little catch-up chat. Me too. I'm so pumped for it. Yeah. So um, you're from Pennsylvania, but you live uh, now in Nashville. You've been here about two years, which mm-hmm. is absolutely amazing. How's uh, Nashville been treating you? Oh, my gosh. Nashville is such a fun place to be. I love it. I love being in a place where so many other people share the same passion for music Mm -hmm. and it's so special getting to wake up every morning and go into the studio and write and record and play shows i absolutely love it that's awesome that's really cool that's uh you know that's kind of the magic of nashville you move here like Mm -hmm. obviously everybody here moves for the same dream of pursuing music and whatnot but just having the ability to sing and play and write and you know like really focus in on what you want to do that's really cool but that's what i really like about nashville oh 100 percent. it really is such a special place yeah absolutely so um where what are you kind of working on right now where are you at uh, creatively yes well i've been writing a bunch i just put out a new song called saddle up last <laughs> friday my birthday um, yes. oh my gosh happy belated yeah, birthday and i have a lot of new music coming out soon maybe even one more this month yeah, so nice. i'm really pumped for that i also have some tour dates coming up i'm opening for nico moon this summer nice and then and I'm opening for Lauren Elena in September, oh, which cool. I'm so excited for. I love Lauren. Such a big fan of her. Nice. That's really, Nico Moon, actually, so funny story. Nico Moon, he had an interview scheduled with these guys right over here. <laughs> and he thought I was them. And he sat oh, down. No and I'm way. sitting there. And I'm like, uh, I don't have an interview scheduled right now. <laughs> but I'll uh, do it. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. And then they're like, oh, sorry. You know, oh, that's like, so yeah. funny. <laughs> so, no, no, that's cool that you guys are going to go out and play some shows together. I'm pumped for it. I love his stuff. He's, he's a great guy. Nice. Uh, so... You new song dropped on the 31st, uh, Saddle Up. Uh, what's kind of the story behind this song? Yeah, well, Saddle Up is just a fun, high energy country love song about someone who really just puts you first and makes you feel like the most important part of their life. I know a lot of people use that phrase if he wanted to, he would. And yeah. this song is kind of my he wanted to and he did. Yeah. And I love that it's finally out. I've been playing it on the road all year long, and every time I do, people always ask, where can I find yeah. it? <laughs> and I'm so excited that it's finally out, and you can hear it wherever you stream music. Nice. What was kind of the tipping point where you're like, okay, this is a song we got to release this summer? Oh, my gosh. Well, I truthfully think since we wrote the song, I've wanted yeah. to put it out, and I had just... I don't even know why it didn't come out okay. sooner. I guess I wanted it to be a summer song and yeah. last summer timing just didn't want, you know, didn't work out. And yeah. so I wanted it to be something that came out before summer so people could really, you know, yeah. hopefully listen to it and enjoy yeah. it during summer when, yeah. you know, when they're driving with the windows down. And I am so excited that it's finally out. I, funny enough, we wrote the song uh, December of 2022. So yeah. like, what, a year and a half ago? Yeah. And the day that we wrote it, it was the most like dreary, cold winter day. And I was like, you know this feeling today? What if we write the exact opposite of that feeling? That's awesome. <laughs> That's cool. I love and I love that it just, it feels like summer to me. When yeah. I play it, it just makes me smile. And I hope it does the same for other people. Yeah, absolutely. It's, you know, and you stumbled onto something there really interesting. Because if you release a summer song too late into the summer, it's like you don't get the full impact. And yeah. then by the time next summer rolls around, it's like, Okay, but now what? Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, that's always the, the weird thing about recording and putting out music is that you have to start that process months <laughs> in advance. And that's why people always joke that we're recording Christmas songs in July yeah, yeah. because to get it out in time for people yeah. to enjoy it for Christmas, you have to, you know, be doing it six months in advance. So when you're recording your summer song, it's probably most likely like, 
30 degrees out in right. <laughs> freezing right. winter. Yeah. But uh, you have to do that for it to be able to come out in, in time for people to enjoy it for the summer. Oh, yeah. Because like, people don't realize there's a whole cycle of things that mm -hmm. has to happen. You got to go through the publishing. You got to go through mastering, recording, right? Absolutely. You know, like Absolutely. All these things. And it takes time. So that's, that's yeah, that's how it is. Um, so Saddle Up Now, are you already looking at um, like what's coming next or where, where are you kind of at there? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm writing every day, so I think I'm always focused yeah. on what's coming out next. And I also love being in this spot where I get to put out music every yeah. few weeks. So I definitely do have another song that's yeah. already in the queue that'll come out this Same. month. Yeah. <laughs> nice. um, but I... I have so many more songs that I want to put out, and I have a lot of them that I am planning to put out in the next few months, so I'm really excited for that. So I will ask a safe question, because I'm getting the hint that you can't really talk about the next song, <laughs> but is this a song that people have heard before? Well, I just started teasing it in okay. the last few days. Okay. I had posted a video of it on Wednesday yeah, okay. and I was playing a show that night, a kickoff event for CMA Fest and I wasn't yeah. even planning to play it, but it was so cool reading the comments that that video was getting. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to play it because why not? Nice. And so I played it on Wednesday night and it was so fun to play it. Nice. And I, I'm definitely going to, as I have shows coming up in the next few weeks, maybe sne try to sneak it into the set yeah, list. That's cool. I love it. You know, that that's why you go to shows is you want to hear that new oh, music. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Or you want to hear that unrecorded 100%. stuff. 100%. So that's cool that you're doing that and you're kind of aware, like, okay, this is how we kind of gauge what the song is, could be. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, especially early on during the process, it kind of gives the song a chance to mature mm -hmm. as, as a song because it's like in your head you hear it one way but then once you get out and play it live and see how like the crowd responds to it it's like oh maybe this isn't an up-tempo number this is like something yeah. a little bit more slow or a ballad and you kind of find the natural the natural groove of the song which is always really cool absolutely practice. well i think it's always it's also so fun that we live in an age where you can post a song and yeah. see you know how your community is liking it and also post multiple songs if you're you and your team are like ah i don't know you know which song we should put out next we're yeah. deciding between these songs it's like well let's just post them and see yeah. what people are liking and i think that's such a a fun and special thing that we really get to ask people what song they want you to yeah. put out and that you can you know follow through on that yeah absolutely it's 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 the magic of digital recording because mm -hmm. it's not like it was 20 years ago where you had tape to tape and <laughs> all that stuff. And it's like, okay, well, we're going to go re record this. It's going to be a whole process, mm -hmm. you know, that yep. whole thing. So, but no, that's cool. I, I love that. Uh, I love ever since I had you on the podcast, we'll call it last year just for safety. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, I've, I've loved watching your career and seeing where you've grown as a musician and all the music you've been putting out and, I'm really glad we've gotten this chance to sit down and chat a little oh, bit. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It's wonderful chatting yeah, with you. Absolutely. But before we wrap this up, outside of music, what have you been getting into here in Nashville? Oh, my gosh. You know what? That's such a great question. I think, truthfully, I, I love writing songs so much <laughs> that that's what I do most of the time, even right. when it's my free time. But um, in terms of, of hobbies, I don't know that there's anything Nashville-specific, except for I have been going out and doing some hikes. So okay. there's, some, yeah. there's some great parks in Nashville yeah. to hike at. Radnor Lake is a great one. Uh, Percy Warner yeah. is, is awesome. There's so many cute spots. There's also, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on what the name is. I think it's like Cummings Falls or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, that's like maybe an hour outside of town. That's a beautiful hike and waterfall. Yeah. Um, and so there's some really great spots. I love just getting out in yeah. nature. I feel like it's really centering and And it's and important peaceful. for a musician oh, too. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like that, having that time to disconnect it because, mm -hmm. you know, you're you're it, we're all in an industry where it's like you have to be online and you have to be mm -hmm. perfect for that 2.4 seconds that it <laughs> takes to take a photo or what and you just have to be on all the time getting out in nature and just kind of putting everything aside and saying no i'm going to do this because mm -hmm. i don't have to worry about anything else yeah you know, absolutely I, I also i love reading and there's a bookstore in uh green hills parnassus okay. yeah. books that i love um and i am I'm, I'm a sucker for getting a cup of coffee and just going into a bookstore Fair. and reading a bunch of the backs of books and seeing which ones that's speak cool. to you that's really cool that's awesome 
Um, but I do appreciate your time. Thank you for sitting down and joining with us. Uh, if anybody wants to check out your music or interact with you on social, any of that fun stuff, where's the best place to find you? Yeah, I have a lot of music out on Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora, all those places. I put out an EP last year. Yeah. So there's a lot of music there that you can check out. I also post a ton of unreleased music nice. on my Instagram and TikTok, which is Jordana.Bryant. So you can check me out there. Awesome. Awesome. Well, once again, thank you so much for joining us. I absolutely appreciate it. Thank you for finding the time. I know CMA Fest is is a once a year occurrence, <laughs> and it's always it's always chaos. Oh know. my gosh, it's it's the best chaos though. Oh, it's thank the you the most so organized. Chaos. It was so fun chatting with you. Yeah, absolutely. Once again, thank you everybody for tuning in, and we will catch you all later.